So this video is about stringed instruments. We're going to look at how do musical instruments make sound and how do stringed instruments produce different frequencies. Now the sound produced by a musical instrument is initiated by striking, by plucking, by bowing, or by blowing through or over the instrument. If we're talking about a stringed instrument, standing waves are produced and the source vibrates at its natural frequency, the source being the string. A standing wave on a string is the basis of all stringed instruments. So when we pluck that string, it will vibrate up and down in simple harmonic motion at its natural frequency. Let's have a closer look at um, the first three harmonics of a stringed instrument. So the first harmonic, that would be the natural frequency or the fundamental frequency. What we see is um, we have a node, antinode, and a node. And that means that the length of the string is equal to half of the wavelength because this is only corresponds to half of the wave. There's only one crest present. If we take that relationship between L and, and lambda, the wavelength, and we combine it with the velocity equation, velocity is the product of wavelength and frequency, we arrive at the frequency equation for a string, saying that the frequency of the first harmonic is equal to the velocity of the um, wave through the um, string divided by two times the length of the string. Now, as we know, uh, harmonics are whole number multiples of the, mu of the fundamental. So here we have one crest, so we'll have two crests here. And um, so that means that the frequency of the second harmonic is going to be equal to 2 over 2 V divided by L, or simply V divided by L. The length of the second harmonic is equal to one wavelength or is equal to lambda. And the frequency, as I mentioned before, frequencies are whole number multiples of the fundamental frequency. So the third harmonic, the third frequency will be three times the fundamental. There'll be one, two, three crests. And to calculate the frequency in terms of length, the frequency of the third harmonic will be 3 halves V divided by L. And we have an equation here in general terms. The frequency of any harmonic, N, is equal to N times V divided by 2L. And in terms of the fundamental, the frequency of any harmonic is equal to uh, N, the, uh, the number of harmonic, uh, times the frequency of the fundamental or the natural frequency. Now some general ideas about stringed instruments. The longer the string, the lower the frequency. And we see that by looking at the frequency formula for strings, that the frequency and length are uh, inversely, inversely proportional to one another. Now, in terms of tightness, the, uh, how tight the string is on the musical instrument, the tighter the string, the higher the frequency. And we see that by taking the velocity of a wave in a string, which we're familiar with. Uh, velocity is equal to the square root of the tension in the string divided by the mass per length density. If we combine that with the velocity equation, we'll end up with the, the product of um, lambda and frequency is equal to the square root of the tension divided by the mass per unit length of the string. And you see in this formula that um, the, uh, the tension in the string is directly proportional to the uh, frequency. So if you increase the tension in the string, how tight the string is, you'll end up increasing the frequency of the sound produced by that string.
Now, stringed instruments, if you just have a string stretched between two points, um, kind of like a clothesline, and you pluck it, you, you'll hear something, but it won't be very loud. So, musical instruments are usually, um, or may probably always, accompanied by uh, sound boxes or sound boards. So, stringed instruments are use, uh, use sounding boards, as in the case of a piano. Uh, or a sound box, as in the case of a guitar, to amplify the sound. So here's a sketch of a, of a guitar, and we see the neck of the guitar and the sound box of the guitar. And of course we have the hole inside the sound box or in the front of the sound box. And when you pluck the string, what happens is that string will cause this entire sound box to vibrate um, and the sound box itself, since it has a large surface area, it comes into contact with more air. So there are more air molecules vibrating, um, so that will produce a larger or louder sound. So since the board of the box has a larger area, it can set more air into vibration. Now, electric guitars, in contrast, are amplified electronically using a what's called a pickup, which is a type of microphone. 